it's Sarah and I'm going to make an ATC today. I've been, oh gosh you guys, I've been trying to gather up little happy mail. Oh sorry, I'm trying to move my wire. Sorry. Okay, had to plug in my camera today. And I, I've been gathering up little things to put together for happy mail. Anyway, I just can't stay focused and I needed to create. And so I found this little stamp set in my drawer. It, Lisa Miller had put this in a pocket letter for me. And I just think it's adorable and I've kept it. I pull certain things out of my pocket letters when I get pocket letters. Jamie, come on. Um that I think I might use and I just thought look at it I mean it's a little it's perfect for Easter there's two little chickies I haven't stamped it out yet and I'm gonna try it but I also went through because a couple people Audrey always sends me um, here's Audrey's um, ATC cards now an ATC is an artist trading card okay and they're two and a half by three and a half and they fit perfectly in those baseball card collector pocket pouch things right so they're perfect to collect and swap and share um, and so, so that's what I do I also just you have you can get these individual little sleeves that you can put actually I got mine at the ATC store so this is a hundred artists trading card sleeves from your ATC store and they're just little plastic um, sleeves right Anywho, I was going, and this is, I think, by, I can't think of the name brand, but it's a, um, a brand of scrapbooking stuff. I can't think of the name of it. Anywho, um, and it's like to hold, I guess it's to hold ATCs or display them. So I've had this for a while, and I just looked through it. I was looking through and seeing what I had in here. And I have all these pre-cut papers, a lot of them anyway, and I'm pulling, still pulling them here some Yupo ones that I've done and I never used. Things from an old um, calendar, Yupo, some that I started uh, using Tim Holtz inks on anyway. And I came across all these different papers because I, when pocket let, when I started doing pocket letters and thought I would use them and do them, which I don't because I'm very bad at, um, I'm just not good with communicating and um, what would it be called? Pen paling back and forth, right? But I've already cut all these papers, random different cards, things that, um, like this was probably a box from something. No, that's actually a scrapbook paper. Scraps that I could cut down to three and a half. These are um, embossed papers that I used that I was going to do steampunk ones. Um, and I came across this little piece, which Again, guys, I don't know, and it's a pretty flimsy piece of paper, but I cut it into this little section, which I probably thought a fairy would go on there perfect, but I think I'm going to use it to put this little girl and the bunny and the chickies. So I'm going to make an ATC. I've also cut a piece of, this is probably a file folder. It's already been pre-cut to two and a half by three and a half, but because it's stiffer, I'll glue this to this. To make it stiffer but I wanted to stamp these out onto and this is I think 90 pound um, watercolor paper I have the much thicker this is the Canson watercolor this is 140 pound which is much thicker and if I were just going to make an ATC by itself I could use this because it wouldn't even need a backing but because I'm gonna I want to fussy cut these out I'm going to use this 90 pound, which is a bit more flimsy paper. So anyway, I'm going to stamp these out and see what they look like. Thank you, um, Lisa Miller. Finally, look how cute. All right, so I'm hoping I get a good impression. And I think I'll do them both. The little bunny. And I might as well do the chickies. I'm going to put them all on here. And then I'm going to cut them out. 
and I had this is already just a scrap of because I got the big pad of 90 pound when I was doing um, like these little photo album type things like this this is all watercolor paper but it was big and I just um, did jelly printing on it but all right I'm gonna use my archival And I'm probably just going to do, maybe use my Tombows again. It's such an easy, I have watercolor paint though, but I just am not proficient at watercolor. And so I feel like I can just fudge it with the um, Tombow markers. And I didn't really save paper too well with that, did I? But that's okay. That's cute. I think I'm going to use that and just watercolor them in. This also came with a little bit of bling on there. You see the bling up there? But it's just a cute little stamp set. So I am so happy that I'm finally using it. Um, set that aside and I'm going to watercolor, but see, I'm going to glue them on top of this. Set that aside and I'm going to watercolor these. Get those little chickies and then cut them out. So I have the Tim Holtz Distress Markers and Tomba, which are both water based markers. And I know I have a flesh color, Tattered Rose. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take and I'll put it up against her hairline and I'll use the water to pull it and I can go out of lines because I am going to cut her out so then I'll take my water brush which is empty I'm just going to pull the color down so that it may maybe looks a little darker at the like closer to the fabric type thing. I should give her rosy cheeks, right? So I have a really soft spun sugar. Actually, that's a little too soft. What's this one called? Victorian velvet. Ooh, I like this one better. This is called worn lipstick and they're starting to die on me because I don't use these I've had them a long time four years or so but that looks really bad you know what you can do is you can take your stamp block and put it on there so at least the color you can also do this with just your regular ink pads you don't have to use the um, and just get the color off of there and put a little bit on her cheekies I'm just try to blend it in I'm no expert um, and then what else all right we got to give her a dress so I could go off camera let's see do I have a light little brown bunnies or look I have a lot of colors of brown Tim Holtz loves earth tones and look at this I mean you would never have crushed olive right look at this vintage photo I like this color let's see if it's so I'm putting it where it would be darkest and I'm just going to see if I can, uh-oh, I really don't want his head to be, I'm just going to use the water brush, which I'm dipping in water because it doesn't have any in it. You wet the area and kind of pull it. But again, I'm not proficient at watercolor. I don't really know what I'm doing or what I'm trying to 
Well, I do. I mean, yeah. Just getting some color on there, right? And again, you can go out of the lines. Just want to put a little brown on that side, and then we'll put pink inside his ear. But I can go out of the lines, maybe a little darker. That looks cute. See how I kept it darker under here. And I mean, look, this is just a real quick, easy project. So I'm not going to try to put that. I could probably go a little darker pink, but I like that in the ears. What else? I kind of want to darken up her forehead. This is probably too dark. Oh boy. Now we're going to live dangerously a little bit. Might have darkened it up too much. I can always um, do another one. It's not the end of the world, but I, can, I think that's okay. And then we'll color hair. This really dark chocolatey one. This is called Gathered Twigs. I'm going to do her hair this color. And again, I can go out of the lines because I'm cutting her out. Um, she's got a holy Bible in her ba at basket. I guess I could use this for her basket color. There's a bow on her basket. And see, if you just let the, the water dry on the piece, you get like puddles and it gets darker and lighter. But that's kind of the, the thing with watercolor. It's part of the beauty of it. But I just don't know. See how, look, my hair color has bled into my face now because I don't really know how to control. Oops, I could take it off. Good. Because I didn't, because the paper was probably wet. <laughs> So look, I'm not an expert. You're not learning how to watercolor from me, that's for sure. So I'll go off camera and I'm going to finish coloring these and cut them out. And then I'll show you how I um, assemble my ATC card. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I have colored them up and cut them out. And then I kind of noticed that the paper colors are quite a bit different from what I chose, which I always go bright and I was thinking Eastery and pastel -y and this is very, it's kind of muted and you know, there are roses down there. Mm, and that's okay, I mean, I could use a totally different piece of paper for my background, but one way that I could go is with ribbon. So I have this little bin of scrap ribbon and I love this, I'm pretty sure Mary Allen sent me this. I could cover those colors up with that. So let me just cut a piece of it off to play with. I also have these really pretty um, pieces of lace or um, you could put beads, but I was thinking for, oh, look at this, silver, if you want metallic. Um, but no, for clouds, it would be white. So look, look how pretty. I really like the brightness of that. I have this lace too. It's more subtle. Um, I have this green seam binding. So if you look at this reed, let me come in a little closer. The green in that, is, it's like a two-tony. It has this kind of lighter green and then there's this darker green right here. So I thought I could do that as well. I really like this, but then what if I put this across the bottom too? See, you have to, I like this part. This is all, and it grounds it a little more too. Like this kind of looks like it's bushes or something, and this kind of looks like grass. And then I would glue her on there, and the little bunny, maybe in the background a little more. Um, I kind of like that. And then I would cut it all, obviously, to be um, the size, the exact size. 
Um, and then the chickies could be down here too. I also have this other interesting, um, I mean, come on, that's really cool. It's a lot, but I think I'm gonna do it. First thing I wanna do though, is I'm gonna take the background paper. I'm gonna use my, um, this is Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. It's pretty old, like let's see if there's a date. I don't think that's a date, but anyway, I think they've re renamed it and repackaged um, it since I bought this. But um, whatever it is, it's a awesome wet glue. I love it. It's just a white glue, but it's really uh, easy to use. And I'm just going to grab my tweezers. I like to hold it. And actually, I could pr probably put the glue a little closer to the edge um, and I'm just going to lay it on top of here and you have a little wiggle room because it is a wet glue but not too much once you get it on there it's pretty stuck and you can take a credit card or a gift card or I don't even know if I have one handy 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 and kind of pull the bubbles out and you can ink your edges and all that stuff this is kind of a real quick and easy ATC I wanted to do so I'm, I don't know I may do that I like to edge with gold as well gold paint that's one of my faves and it'll be a little wonky for a sec then I'm gonna get out my this is my favorite kind of jelly Fabri-Tac, it's more of um, it's a clear liquid glue, liquid adhesive, but this is for fabric and all types of stuff, so I really love that. I think I am going to put this kind of all the way up to there. Why not? And then I am going to put this right there. I like it. So I'm just going to put some of this along, and it's more of a tacky glue, like, um, so sticky, kind of, it's, it's my version of hot glue, because a hot glue gun, oops, it, it's, it dries too hard for me, and it burns me, and like, look at this, this is so awesome, I love Fabri-Tac, and this little first piece is kind of, um, <clears throat> see-through it has so I'm gonna be able to maybe even adhere this other piece and this is seam binding it's just a, like kind of almost a silky fabric but I'll put a little extra along the bottom as well and I'm just lining up the bottom really because I'm gonna cut it after and I think I'm gonna use some of this I think is it called 3m but it's like see how it has a little bit of um, a rise to it so you can pop things up so let me get my Tim Holtz let's trim this down always cut these things before you glue them but to me it's just as easy to cut it like this once it's on there so that's my bottom I think I am gonna put this one on top for kind of like a clouds or you know it's okay if I cover up a little bit of that greenery so I am gonna put a little bit of this along the top I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm going to go up a little higher. Kind of wanted to center it, and I didn't do a good job of that. There we go. But you can, you definitely have fudge. I call, always call it fudge time. 
like you can move this around a little easier. The fabric will move a lot better than um, paper to paper. Paper to paper, kind of once you place it, sometimes you're gonna you're gonna rip it. The glue will take off some of your some layers of paper. Sometimes you can get lucky and um, get it off real quick, but in my experience, I generally so that looks pretty. I think. I think my colors are good, but like, see, because this did not match that. If I were painting, I could have painted over it or, you know, tried to. So him, I want to pop up a little bit. And then I also have these little chickens, which I cut one of the little legs off. But I really like them, too. He's cute. So they can kind of be like that. So I think I'll place her a little higher and him a little lower. He could also be in the background. Maybe the chickens over here. Cause I want to be able to see the butterfly. And then what about this uh, other? Do we need this at all? Not really, but you could go down the side. I still don't really think we need it, need it, but it would be cute. And then there, you could always do like. Here's my little bin of um, bling. I have a little, so I have a ribbon bin, just with odds and ends and stuff that you can kind of pick through real quick. And I have this, you know, little flowers in here. These are buttons and bows, and look, there's a pink flower. I could put down the bottom. I have a purple one that would kind of pull the purple from her dress. I even have a darker one. Oh, I like this darker one. So these are all things that, you know, have them kind of out and about and here's a butterfly too big and this light purple and this dark purple that is really cute maybe one chicky but I like both chickies so I'm thinking this looks good what else was I gonna do um, You can always, I like to add different texture things too. So I have ribbon, so I have fabric, paper, plastic, but you could do metal. You know, if you had a little metal, I have a lot of like, well, I don't have a big one, but there's a metal. You could even put a charm. You could dangle a butterfly from the top. I don't like this one specifically, but you can use a brad and poke it through and have a little butterfly dangle up there, right? Um, so that's what it's looking like right now. There's this kind of flower too. So a fabric flower, if I had a purple, I think I probably do have a purple fabric flower too. I just have to look, I have stuff everywhere. So like I have, look, I have this. So I have purple flowers right here. I have a purple bow. But here's a purple fabric flower. Oops, it doesn't have a... Usually they have a little pearl in the middle. This one doesn't have his pearl. So I'm going to grab a different one. This one has his pearl. You know, it, it's, it's interesting because there's so many ways you can go. Like, I could put a little bird up in the sky. See, because this is getting really crowded. And a flower, but then I could put a purple bow. A flower wouldn't be up in the sky necessarily. Well, neither would a bow, right? <laughs> but I could put a purple bow up there. Actually, a flower could go up there because maybe it's growing off of that vine. And I am a busy, like, I love a lot of stuff, too. So I'm not scared of none of this. Like, I would put it on there. Look at this guy. Look at this sucker. And like I have all this stuff, so I kind of want to use it. But that is gorge. So that is what I will have to decide. Um, so yeah, I like to keep like a little, this is the dollar store tub thing. And then I'll put a little bit of everything, a little bit of bling. There's some ribbon in there. Mostly um, like lace. Look at this kind of. This has like roses on it. 
That's kind of cute too. I don't know if I like the pink, but to finish off, I have a, I might have a blue one of them to kind of represent a little more sky-ish. I have pearls. Anyway, um, so I'll go away and I'm going to, let me see, I guess I could just, let's adhere. I'm going to adhere. Here's what you do, because I'm definitely going to pop up my bunny. Should he be in the background and she be in the foreground? That's what I should do. So he'll be in the background. Let's put him in. And I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. It's a little more tacky and he and because there's layers now and I'm on top of fabric, I want to make sure that I can get him to stick. And I'm going to stick him kind of right here. He looks like he's just like, "Hey, what are you doing in my forest?" So I'm going to stick him right there. And I'm going to pop her up. So to do that, I want to use, and I like to cut this into little perfect size pieces. So for her head, I might not need it that big. That might be a little big. But we could put a piece right here for her body. This is a little bit... Um, Her head. And that's it. Really you only need a couple. Like her feet could be actually, you know what? I have these I could put tiny little pieces on her feet. Because they they could tend to get ripped off. Because I did cut out the um they're just legs like dangling. So I'm gonna put a little piece on each foot. Did I? And I could put another little piece right here up at her shoulders. And then this one on her other foot. This one's a little big. But it'll stick. 3M tape, poster tape or something, isn't it? Okay. So that looks pretty good. So she'll be popped up right about there. And then, so let's go ahead and adhere her. Actually, I want to put her last since she's popped up. I know, I think these little chickies should be on there too. I really do. They're super cute, especially this one. He's a cutie pie. Like, he's just looking forward. Hmm. I think he needs to go right there. Fabri tack him down. And you know, I mean that could be it. I don't have to get crazy. I actually really like the color of this little flower and just put that down the bottom to finish it off. And I'll add some like stickles to the butterfly, but I think that could be it. Maybe the bigger. And this is like the fun part for me is like figuring out what I want to put. Like there's this shape flower. I have a lot of different. These are in the um, button department, so there's this light colored one. I kind of think that's going to be, it's just subtle, but you could put them all the way like going up here and then maybe one in the sky. How about a white bow? I think a white bow might be good and that doesn't have to be all the way over. I think it might be too much. This isn't popping enough for me. This one's a lot more popping. Because I could just put two little ones that I have. A lot of times people put like three little pearls or something. Um, see, I have pearls too. Like you could just take 
some pearls, which would look so cute too. Uh, I need to find, here they are. And I think I've gotten a lot of these online, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Like I have, ooh, this blue one. I have a clear, see like then I just get so many, like that looks cute too. <gasps> but I have a white one and I have pearls. So this is a white bling. That looks good. And then I have a pearl. It's a really mini pearl. So they're hard decisions, aren't they? This is driving me crazy. I really don't know what to do. And I have a butterfly. Oh man, this right here, down here, I want something, but I don't know what it is. A purple bow. No. I mean, a bow is just so kind of Easter-y to me. I don't know why it says Easter. I like this dark purple. I don't know, because the yellow is over there. All right, let's go ahead and fit, figure out um, up here which one do I want to put. Pearl, blue, or white. I think blue. I'm going blue. That's just how, I mean, listen, it might not have been your choice, but I, for whatever reason, I feel like it represents sky. And so I'm going to put just a bead across this lace. And I'm going to put that on its side in case I need to use it again. Just put it at the top here and then I'll cut it after. Give it some pressure, but see how the tacky glue, it's just tacky and I love it because, and it really rolls off you, it cleans up really easy. Like once that dries, I'll be able to get it off me so easy. And then, oops, see I kind of got it on the background. I just always love adding a little bling. I really love it. I could add that other chicken. There's still a chicken there. And because I'm not crazy about that being so flat. So that's why I was going to say I have that little rose trim, which is kind of small. I might have to do it. It gets, I can get carried away, but I think for whatever reason I'm needing something else. Maybe the white now. I mean, that doesn't look bad. I don't have a green gem, I don't think. But, I mean, I, I do have, um, probably I have green pearls. Look, I have green bling like this. I don't need that. But let's glue her down because she needs to get... And I did um, get glue. Okay, good. Let's get her. So you just take. Her little neck is very fragile, so I got to be very careful. See, she's about to rip her little head off. I have no nails. My nails have been really bad. I had a thyroid. My thyroid medicine... I just started taking again because I stopped taking it, which you can't do. And I thought I could, and you can't. And so I think that affected my nails and my skin. I had such dry skin. Anyway, my nails are not good. So I'm going to, I just want to trim right here. So let's place her. Her little feet but see now it, you can tell like he definitely has a little more of a forward feel too because he's he's not on the background but she's definitely lifted it's a very tiny bit 
I think it's looking so cute. What else do I need? Um, I definitely want to do something in the front here. I don't know what it is. Uh, I have like all this different. Hold on. Hold on. Uh-oh. Maya might be home. That's cute. It kind of, it's not, I kind of like that. I wish I had a green one. I don't know if I like the pink better. I don't think I like the pink better. It's so funny because I wish you guys were here to help me. And then where's that other leafy one? This one. This actually would look cool. It kind of covers up my chicky, but I think I like it. Ugh, it's too big. I wish I had something like this that wasn't as like overlappy, like it was more controlled. You know what I mean? Like smaller, like, um, but all right, that's basically it. That's all there is to it, guys, is you just, um, gather up a few supplies. I basically just used one little, see here's bling. I could use these blings down here or something. But a flower would be cute, right? What do I want to do? None of these actually kind of match. I think I'm going to go little. I'm going to put two. I'm doing it. Ugh, I can't make decisions because I kind of want to do a big and a little, but I don't know. Like it's, it's like, it's actually a little too big. How can it be too big, Sarah? Well, you can see how it's too big, right? Oh my God, why is this so hard? <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to decide. All right, they're both gonna be little. They're both little. Cute as a bug. It's cute as a bug. And then this little chicken, I mean, he's not as defined. His little face is a little, but he could be over here too. But I think I'm done. Yeah, so you basically just need a little, that's it. And you make a little Easter ATC card. I love it. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.